when we wake. Well, hello guys, welcome back to Simple Life with Chris and Kara. Today we are finally out in our garden and hopefully we can get some plants in before the rain comes. All the good times just begun. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Well, here it is in June, and we are just now getting started being able to put plants in our garden. We had uh, frost way up until uh, the end of May, which is late for us to have frost. So this is the first chance because of the rain that we've had to get able to put plants in our ground. So hopefully we will get it planted today before the rain comes. Okay, well hopefully the wind isn't too bad out here. We have our plants laid out, hopefully kind of how we're gonna have them planted in the beds. Um, some of the plants have, we've had them too long before they got into the ground because we just weren't able to plant. So some of them don't look too well, but we're just gonna go ahead and plant and see how it does. I do better once they get into the ground. wondering if that's deep enough. I guess it will be. In the hole, we're putting some fish emulsion, which I've already mixed up in this water can. We're putting some of this down in each one, and then also just some regular water. And we'll see how it works. This is a different kind of soil than I've ever used in previous gardens, so I'm kind of curious to see um, how, it, how it does as well. So she's making a little little mound around each one. I don't know about that one. It's kind of low. Maybe I should take it off. I think. Typically you don't want any of your any of your little touch of the ground. Any of the plant. So we're going to snip that off. Another year where I didn't get to put little sticks in saying what each kind was so we know when they, what grows the best and which one she likes the taste of the best. I think we're going to put some tomato cages this year and then we're going to try maybe doing the cattle panel down the middle on some and see which way she likes better. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather it.
So we're putting the fish emulsion in and it says when you're planting to put one tablespoon per gallon. It's smelly stuff. And it looks pretty nasty. So now that we have everything planted, we're going to go ahead and water it this stuff. It might be like, uh, no, that's the two gallons. Well, I'll put another thing in. Wah, 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 two gallons. So we need to put another tablespoon in. All right, so we got everything planted. I'll go through real quick and just kind of say what's what. This is actually probably the smallest garden we've had in a while. This will be the first year here, so we'll go with this and see how things work out. So in this bed, we have okra. So I have five plants here. Uh, green okra, heirloom, clemson, spineless. So here we have cucumbers. So I have eight plants in here and they are just right there straight eight cucumber then these two beds here are all tomatoes so there's six plants in each bed and these beds are four by eight by 12 inches tall down here we have six more tomatoes and over here we have peppers so i know we have um, jalapeno here I believe this one was the green bell. Well, these two I remember said were red knights. That one was Big Bertha. And then these two beds down here, these are zucchini. And then two more zucchini here. And then the last two are straight neck squash. We like the zucchini a little better than the squash. We're getting ready in these smaller little little beds around the outside we're going to be planting flowers in those and then we're going to put some pots of flowers and things sporadic through here as well um, then we're also going to plant sunflowers and then this is tara's dad's bed that he made and he has five tomato plants in here but we'll see we'll see the difference because his is separate he is using miracle grow soil and miracle grow fertilizer and ours are just organic type nothing um special or fancy in them so we'll see how they do hopefully the peppers will do better this year than they did last year and i've never grown anything in this type of soil so i'm interested to see how it does with basically no dirt there's really no dirt in here like i think of when i think of a garden we got it all in before the rain came and I guess we'll try and uh, get some, some of these flowers in here and talk to you later. And I did end up making a diagram of what was in what. So here is the garden layout. And then here was my chart saying what was in what. So we'll be able to see what does the best. All right, guys, well, we told you the rain was coming, so we didn't quite get all the flowers in. In fact, we didn't get any of the flowers in. We have one more tomato plant in a pot, and we are getting ready to do the flowers, and it started raining. So I guess this is gonna be it for this video. So please remember to like, just hit that little thumbs up, take the two seconds to do it, and uh, subscribe, and leave a comment, and tell us what you think. That'll do it for this video and we'll see you next time.